what do you think of when you think of China? They're very smart people. They're really pushing their industries very hard, very in the United States. Maybe about China, I don't know. I don't know much about it, I guess. China, yeah. What do you think of when you think of China? A lot of people. Inexpensive uh, knockoffs. Bad products. So where was your hat made? And let's, let's see. I have no idea. Made in China. <laughs> Where's my hat made? In China, probably. Yeah, made in China. Where was my hat made? China. Where was your hat made? I have no clue. China. Many don't mess with Texas hats, and a lot of other familiar lids are made here at a company called Capsland in Yangzhou. The Capsland sample room is filled with familiar logos since most of their business comes from filling foreign orders. But the first hats on the new embroidery machine are from a fairly obscure brand called Soulfire. It was started by Brendan Murphy, an artist by trade who says he just had a good feeling about John when they met at a trade show in Las Vegas. His experience starting a new clothing line shows both why Americans choose to manufacture in China and what they have to deal with to make it work. If you leave one detail out, that's what they don't do. There's no feel to it. Like you say, well, why would you make the flame that, the logo that big? Like, don't you see that it, they don't see, they just do it. So how much of a, a downside is this? There's language and distance. The price is incredible. I pay 93 cents a hat. I sell them for 20, 25. How about just that it might be nice to source from an American company? I as do. As an American. I do. And it's not easy. They close on Thursday. They go home early on Friday, they're back ordered. I'm, they send me the wrong stuff, the wrong, I'm telling you, I've had more problems with US companies. And I wanna make my stuff here. 